Alright, so in the last video I showed you how to start learning effects. And now we're going to look at how to learn different effects based upon channels. Um, for this, there is a channel under effects and presets. Okay, So a channel can either be used to change the color of something or mask it out. Change the opacity of something. It's it's very universal, but let's see how we can use it. So the way I use masks is not through the channels within Photoshop because I couldn't select these different channels. I can select layers very easy and then use those as channels. All right. So here's here's what I would suggest doing is taking a marquee tool Let's turn off all these, except for maybe the background one. Go on to layer one, and let's make a bars. Okay, so I'm just going to take, go like this, and I'm going to fill these with, like, maybe a white. Doesn't matter what color you use, it's the information and where it's at. Okay, so I'll go like that, and I'll use Alt, and then hold Shift after that to make some bars. So Alt, click drag, hold Shift, Alt, click drag, hold Shift, Alt, and you can see that icon change, right? And if I want to move those up, I can. So the whole group just kind of center that, and there we go. Now let's call that bars. Sweet. Okay, let's add another one. This time I want to take an ellipse, go Alt-Shift, make something like this, go to the gradient tool, and choose the gradient that goes from white to transparency. Now it can be any of these. I'm just using that one as an example. Okay, I'll make a new layer and I'll go like this. Now I want to kind of inverse that. So it's, yeah, just like that. I want to make it so it, it falls off. So that's good right there. A little poof. Okay. Now let's go in here and make another layer. Hide that one. And I'll show you another thing you could do. How about add a layer in here? It's like a gradient but the gradient is a solid, doesn't matter what it is. And then I go filter, noise, add noise, just use it with monochromic Gaussian, and filter, render clouds. Now it's going to render clouds based upon these two colors right here, so if you hit D on the keyboard, it'll give you white and black. So, filter, render, clouds. And then, we can hold Alt and Shift. And I want to kind of start, let's make it a little bit more random this time. Let's just give it a shape. And filter. We're going to take in, um, blur this out, okay? But I guess we can do this first. Select, modify, contract, 10 pixels. See how that contracts in? What if we are able to use that in some way like select feather, 30 pixels, select 
inverse delete. Now I got this really cool type of like, it's got like a poofy cloud thing, a nebulous cloud. I bet that would come in handy. And the outside edges are like this. Now if I wanted to get rid of some of that white, I could do that too. How about select color range, white. And then maybe select modify feather. So there's so many different things you could do with this. So now I have like, just kind of like a noise transparency type of weird thing. Good for learning channels. All right, so there's some channels that I could use. Now I'll label this one cloud, and I'll label this one like sprite maybe. Save your document, and let's go back into After Effects, go to Project, right click on this and say Reload Footage. Now the thing with this is we're not going to be able to get the new layers in here. So what you have to do is kind of uh, bring in the new composition in. So if you have something that's already nice here, you might want to save that out. But for right now, I'm just wiping this out and then add it in. Oops. Combo, went composition. I want to make sure that live 3D is on there for that wine bottle. And there we go. If I go to combo, I have now all kinds of crazy stuff in here. I got my wine bottle controller, I got my cloud, I got my sprites, everything. So let's look at what we could do in the next video with all this great information on how to learn channels.